political ambitions of 50 appointees to the contentious chief administrative secretary, that is a CAS position, has been dealt a major blow after three judge bench declared the position as unconstitutional and went on to quash President William Ruto's decision to appoint the individuals without vetting. Some of the appointees who are present in court as judges delivered the judgment that virtually ends their dreams to what was widely considered a cabinet level appointment. Chimutai Goyen has more. Some of the appointees were present at the High Court, eagerly awaiting the decision of the three-judge bench with bated breath after the same court on 24th March barred them from assuming office. These are our final orders. Monday afternoon, they watched in disbelief as their ambitions were cast to the wind as the judges delivered the judgment which they have disputed. Those present were Foreign Affairs Chief Administrative Secretary Josh Mangi, his land's counterpart Kimani Ngunjiri, CAS in the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary Isaac Mwaura, and State Law Office CAS Alan Kosgei. This is the most bizarre judgment I've ever seen in my 33 years as a lawyer. This court sat on its own judgment. It kept on relying on the Murima case, which was withdrawn. And the record is there that the mother was withdrawn. Why they chose to rely on the Murima case when they knew the case was withdrawn is a bit logic. We have two separate decisions that are competing. A decision made in the Employment, Employment and Labor Relations Court and a decision made here. Uh, which conflict on the constitutionality of the office of the CS. So we are going to take, um, we are going to study very carefully the decision that was made today. The appointees who watched as the rug was pulled from under their feet say their next destination is the Court of Appeal to attempt to reverse the decision of the three judge bench. Sisi ni wakenya kama wale wengine. Sisi pia tunahaki ya kushiriki katika eh, mambo ya kitaifa. Tutakwenda katika mahakama ya rufa. Natuna Wakika, we are very convinced that we will be successful. Because there is no way you can say that 23 are lawful and the others are saying 50 are constitutional. There is no way you can say that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who had 41 CSS, was right, but President Ruto, who had 50, was wrong. This court that created their own order, their own prayers, and he granted them. We are definitely going to the Court of Appeal. We hope that just will be served. The list of the 50 comprised of former governors and poll losers in the 2022 general election and also loyalists and close lieutenants of President William Ruto. Some notable figures were blogger and digital strategist Dennis Situmbi, who was handpicked as ICTCAS, former Nairobi woman representative Millicent Omanga to the powerful Interior Ministry, former Laikipia woman representative Kate Waroguru, who was set to serve in the Transport Ministry, former Nartis GN nominated MP. Wilson Socion, former two-term narrow governor Samuel Oletunai, Nairobi gubernatorial aspirant Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, and former Mumia's East MP Benjamin Washiali, amongst others. Hi, Evans Sofia Mukidero. Others included leaders who hailed from regions President William Ruto was wooing to solidify his base for his re-election bid, including former Homer Bay gubernatorial aspirant Ivan Skidero, earmarked for the Trade Ministry, his CIA counterpart engineer Nicholas Gumbo, Transoya gubernatorial aspirant Chris Wamalwa, who had resigned from his position as Ford Kenya Secretary General, Nancy Kibaba, who had also resigned from the position of CEC in Bungoma County, among others. It is not just in the manner in which the offices were sought to be established. It is not just in the manner in which public funds would have been wasted in offices that are completely unnecessary and were only intended to be a reward for the political supporters or, as is famously known, the shareholders in this government. Despite the order barring the chief administrative secretaries from assuming offices, some had already updated their social media accounts to reflect their new status. Some like Millicent Omanga, who refers to herself as deputy cabinet secretary, and at the peak of the ruling, only shared a short video on a swing, captioned, all work with no play, Max Jakada boy. Dennis Itumbi, 
carefully stuck to his nominee tag and has since changed his status, leaving a short message, come here, go there, focus, service and connecting dreams. Kate Waruguru too had fully assumed her new role as depicted on her social media account. And so they fall, both big names and newcomers. The High Court judgment struck out all the 50 appointments in President William Ruto's bid to reward those that played a role in his election as Kenya's fifth president. And with that, it is back to the political drawing board for President Ruto and the entire Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, at the Milimani Law Courts, Nairobi.